Hello, everybody. Brian here on March, uh, sorry, May 23rd. It is uh, 1 p.m. East Standard Time. We've got two articles I'm going to look at. Um, and you might be asking yourself, what should your typical monthly return be? Because um, right now I just looked at uh, the return for the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ is up 21% year to date for so far this year. And uh, I've got two articles, one for retail on Reddit and another one for the hedge fund industry on a website called opalesque.com, O-P-A-L-E-S-Q-E.com. Headline is, it's a roundup, hedge fund industry return 2.73 year to date in April. Hedge fund news. Okay, so this is now what the hedge funds are doing, and then we're going to go into what the Reddit folks are, are saying, retail crowd. Uh, in the week ending May 19th, Barclay Hedge Fund Index, compiled by Barclay Hedge, said that the hedge fund industry built on its prior month's gains in April, returning 0.41% for the month. By comparison, S&P total return index gained 1.56 in April. For the year to date, the hedge fund industry has returned 2.73 throughout the end of April. S&P 500 total return index was up 9.17% for the same period. So does that mean then put money into your ETFs? Don't worry about financial advisors um, because the 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 ETF uh, the hedge fund providers the advisors don't look like they're beating what the actual market's doing. Um, I I'm gonna have a solution for that with all the data that I'll be looking at um, to put in a synopsis. Uh, I use Interactive Brokers, which is global, pretty well, and they have I just checked over a thousand fifteen different ETFs to choose from within Canada. And uh, I have all, also about 60 plus categories. I post that on Friday. And uh, out of that, I'm going to build out detailed, and I can go very, very deep in the analysis on the fundamental. And um, what it will tell you is when you analyze these 60 plus categories where you should invest, and these are using ETF data. For years, I've used CFD data. But now I'm also going to go deeper with CFD, which will cover all different types of aspects and different types of investing and looking at the market. So be be on the lookout for that. If you're not on my email list, you can join my email list at quantlabs.net slash books. To learn about that, I think it's going to be very, very critical to to take that approach when it comes to moving uh, uh, to moving forward. Because the fundamentals, I mean, the, the markets look great, but the fundamentals are basically decaying very quickly. And I think there will be some form of a, I, the markets aren't moving as, as fast as they should. The NASDAQ, the only reason why NASDAQ's doing so well is because of like four or five different big tech stocks like Apple, Microsoft, they're doing very well. And that you can do very well as an easy trade to invest in. And if it works, it works. Great. Um, but I don't think that's going to be guaranteed to continue to have the kind of returns that they will provide as the um, consumer generally is, is is struggling, majorly struggling. Just to give you an example, I heard, watched the video, the Florida condo market's down 20% in sales. That's that's the sort of thing we're talking about in the fundamentals, let alone I haven't heard about, oh, another stat, if you want to hear the value of commercial real estate in San Francisco, down 80%. That's how bad it is, okay? So that's going to have a huge impact fundamentally. Anyways, continuing on the uh, article here. Uh, Amidst an uncertain economic environment, which I just talked about, the report indicates continuing shift in portfolio dynamics towards longer held positions, necessitating a tightening of liquidity rules in 2022. Hedge fund terms regarding withdrawal frequency investor level gates, so-called hard lockups. That's the problem with these investment vehicles. All trended toward limiting liquidity last year revealed uh, this C-word, Seward, and Kissel new manager hedge fund study. I would avoid these type of uh, investment vehicles. If you're going to tie up your money, one I saw, 11 months, um, believe me, that's so dangerous. Um, 
you don't want to be doing that to yourself to be locked up with their funds one bit because I, if things get bad you want to get out fast uh in new launches co-founder ceo of new york based avenue capital group he is launching a sports fund this is this is how decadent this whole field is getting that aims to put money into women's sports teams in the u.s Bas- basketball teams in africa and other sports teams in asia uh global private equity major that's an interesting one but uh yeah i'd be kind of staying away from stuff like that i'll know i'll better answers i go deep on the these reports i'm showing you so here i'm going over to a uh article found on reddit this is now this the forex subreddit so specifically obviously for uh for forex and and the, the the title is percent per month uh article or this person's asking i'd like to hear about what do you think about percent gains per month? Now, remember, this is retail. I'm asking this because I see many people put in high expectation on returns. My personal opinion is that you're making 3% per month. You're doing amazing. And that's probably true. So that's times 12 at 36% per, per year. Today with prop firms, especially when they offer no time limit on percent returns, 8%, for example, 36 is an amazing result. So if you have 100000 dollar cost around 500 if you make it not for the beginner you can earn 2400 per month times 12 28000 per month with fund money you don't even need even your own money expect $500 per uh, $100 is nothing new to $100,000 in capital this is where you see the professional amateurs in this this set of comments now this person's pretty I think educated here. My mindset changed for the better, and so did my trading once I realized that the game is to increase your trading capital, not your uh, percent per month. I remember when I started, one guy told me I should be making 5% a week. It was stressed that more often than not, I had negative weeks chasing that number. The one day it clicked, if I could secure 100K uh, in capital and focus on consistent 5% a month, at an 80% split, I would already be changing my life and my parents' life. And by maintaining this consistency, I would scale without such stress. Small pivot in perspective changed my whole psychology for me and made me a profitable trader. So that, again, is coming from the world if you are in with a prop trading firm. So uh, somebody chimes in there uh, with that statement. Okay, so next one is hedge funds earn 10% a year due to liquidity issues and the regulatory requirements for them to be diversified. Shifting 500 million takes a lot rather than five lot trade on a B-book broker. They also get ridiculous uh, bonuses if they beat the index. So take every little risk once they are ahead. Traders and prop firms, real prop firms, not FTMO, uh, will actually be told to close winning positions if the risk manager thinks the firm is over levered in any particular total asset class. Profit each trader is making is irrelevant. If they deem themselves to be at risk, they are told to cut size and so on. The point is professionals often have their hands tied or have different incentives rather than to continue making P&L, profit and loss. Retail traders, which is anyone who trades their own capital, regardless of account size or experience, are not bound by the same restrictions and can make a lot more. A lot of people do, I think, that very few people can make 10% a month over a real significant uh, period of time. Doesn't mean it isn't done, just most do not manage it. Uh, Well, if you look up my streams on TradingView and whatnot, you can see that just in the last month, you can see like 10, 20% moves on just certain stock uh, or certain asset class. So, yes, you just got to know about it. Uh, logical with a good system is around 5%. Anything higher is just not over trading and high risk. Um, the best in the market makes 60 to 70% a year. You can have rare months of 20%, but that can never be the standard under market conditions. Uh, I think 5% a month is realistic if you risk half a percent to 1% per trade with a 1 to 2 
or three, one to two or three uh, risk reward is absolutely not realistic at all. How many times people go here and claim bleep like this? For all the believers, no one make regularly five to 10% a month. Not even the greatest traders, even the best algos built by an army of PhD, Harvard computer scientists and mathematicians deal with it. I cannot believe this is a top comment. Okay, so there's eight replies here. Uh, the best do 60% per year. Five times 12 equals 6%. This is not realistic. Um, so we get into the usual Reddit arguments. This is not, they do not make, let's see what else is in here. Um, anyways, I'm going to go back here. Anyways. Yeah. When you see these kind of mar ar arguments, it's like, they got to pull out their schlongs to see who's got the bigger schlong, right? Einstein, Einstein once joked that the greatest miracle in the universe was the power of compound interest. He was pulling the interviewer's leg, but he did have a point. I started with, with uh, 10,000 pounds over a decade ago. Now it's substantially more, a lot more than that. My target started out low and remained low ever since. The aim was to build equity slowly on a very high probability trade and take no unnecessary risks that's crypto i like crypto but i mean just look at the charts lately over the last year or two and just so you know i saw the participation rate in both ethereum and, and uh, bitcoin is at its lowest in two years one per one or two per day within two months i was up 30 percent and realized that if anything i was probably still making too much risk exposure i lowered my targets and my win win rate ratio uh, stay very high. Very little has changed when you look at when you start out with with uh, with you forever. Slow but steady wins the race. So, let's see what, can I start with one k? I'm able to be half online for three point nine eb. Is that bar, uh, at hundred after six hundred k hands? I'm starting to get bored, so it's not much point. Yes, you can start with 1K. Uh, okay, so that's that's a good sign. Uh, there are plenty of overlaps between poker and Forex. Now, remember, this is a, this is a Forex crowd. The uh, main one being bankroll management and the basic risk exposure. If you're uh, good at poker and have the patience to study, then you have a fair chance of doing okay in Forex. As long as, it, as you realize it's a very different game. Learning curve is very long. 95% of retail Forex traders never seem to grasp that there is a high probability and low probability of trades. Exactly. There are good and bad hands in poker. Another overlap is the element of psychology and following when to either cut your losses or not play at all. Advantage in Forex uh, being there are no blinds to pay. If you want a serious introduction, read Kathy Lean's Day Trading and Swing Trading. The currency markets. She's one of the very few authors to have had a career in education and finance. Most now listen to this very carefully. Most forex material is written by amateurs and is junk. And start the baby pips course, which is entirely free. If you're entirely new to uh, your exposure per trade, you should uh, be very low, as in a quarter percent to up to one percent maximum. Uh, Okay, it will not be, it will not help you what others make. The four minute mile wasn't broken for a long time because people are far from more concerned with what others do and set expectation and limits based on others. Once it was first broken, many were able to break the four minute mile because it was psychological. Stop looking at others. Nobody ever succeeds that way. Interesting. Uh, Best month I've ever had in my whole uh, trading career was 60%. Worst was negative 20. Uh, average month is uh, 10 to 15. Risk is always 1%. 3% per month is beginning stages. But as you continue with getting, you'll get faster, more experience, and edge will grow. Then you will notice yourself hitting 20 to 30% some months and will be asking yourself what happened. Um, 3% is what I've heard others say is reasonable. 
but 1% per day on average is in ES futures is about 50% per month on four time minimum margin roughly. That is very doable for a profitable trader. So I'm not sure why the 3% number is thrown around. Math isn't mathing. 3% equals 30% per year, approximately 40% per 43% per year. You could probably make more on swaps alone. Just buy the US Japanese and hold. This is this is so true. Just buy the US Japanese yen and hold. Perfect. Or better yet. Take a look at this chart, Euro and Turkish Lira. 3% is great, but I think better way to think about your gains is how much you risk per trade to get in. If you risk 1% per trade to get 3% monthly, then you'd be doing well. The next step becomes how do you make more and most obvious route would be leveraging prop for money at 3%. You could pass no limit uh, challenge after a few months and on and on it goes. I'll put this in my blog, but you get the idea. OK, so again, if you want to know more about the data thing that I'm I'm, I'm talking about, it'll be going deep, deep analytics, uh, as I'm going to probably call it around that, something like that. Anyways, um, just go to quantlabs.net slash uh, books, get some free stuff, get some uh, access to a page of a lot of videos um, and uh, join there. And uh, yeah, I think it's really important because what we need to find are uncorrelated performance. We put that up last week because that's important because, as it says here, the U.S. Japanese yen is probably a really good trade. Um, that was a really good trade for cert about half the year last year when people were losing money left uh, hand over fist. And the uh, U.S. dollar did well as well. So if you're able to watch stuff like that in the currency space, you do pretty good. No matter what happens in the economy, no matter where it happens, how bad it gets, certain currencies are doing very well. And we're seeing it right now with what I just posted for my members. Other than that, thanks again. Go to quantlabs.net slash books to learn more over now. Take it easy.